Hey, hey, beautiful people, peaceful inner warriors united is what I hope that more of us can come to see ourselves to be because when we fail to go inward, we will go without. If you fail to go within, you will go without. I wanted to come to you really quickly just to simply say that today is going to be the first breaking down bullying and building community experiences where we have a chance to actually come together and do what is right, which is empower the empaths to understand how abuse shows up, recognize the pattern so we can actually have eyes to see the lies, to actually recognize that we need to get moving when abuse is introduced because it is not serving us. It is not in our greatest and highest good. And it is time for us to recognize the temple of light within us. For it is in us that our soul worships every single day. Your body is the vessel your soul chose to be here in. And if you are unkind towards yourself, then how could you possibly be accepted? Expected to be kind to others. If you do not have the ability to practice kindness with yourself, then how possibly is it that you expect to be able to be kind and practice kindness with others? We must give what we wish to receive in this world. And so today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will know it's 2 p.m. because that's where the rest of us who are in this same space will be gathering. And ultimately, we are going to be talking about what it means to be part of community, which is a group of individuals of common unity. And what we have to remember is that we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones that must wake up and actually claim the right to be alive fully, which is the backwards of live, evil. And then alive is <laughs> all about the attitude that we bring to the life that we lead. And it is time for us to indeed lead ourselves responsibly, able to respond instead of just react, which is one E for energy shy of being able to create something new, which is what we must do. In this moment, if I were to use the symbolism of this moment where you join me, I would turn that light on because it reflects us more than we could possibly imagine. Do you realize? Have real eyes to see how the lamp reflects you? That inner circle represents and reflects in the lamp around you who allow your inner circle to determine your altitude because our self-image is the glass ceiling that we are all facing right now. And abusers will require us to limit ourselves. There's a systemic bullying problem going on and it's all very clear. We're aware of it and yet we don't know what to do because we elected those who were supposed to do it for us. But they won't because they can't. There are political whips in place to whip them back along the party lines. Well, don't you know that we, as the men and women of these communities, that each of us exist within as the lighthouses where we are, must trust that if we do not know one another, it is easier to fall. If we are not aware of who is in our unity, in our community, then how are we going to possibly call for help? How are we possibly going to know where to turn if we don't know who is around us, in our midst? The energy is in our midst. If we don't know who is around us, then we cannot turn to someone when we have a low moment. And this is why understanding the need to gather is so important. And I hope that you will join today at 2 p.m. for the first Breaking Down Bullying and Building Community experience. I don't know who's going to come. I haven't promoted it a heck of a lot. I didn't even make a poster. But what I trust is that we must actually seed the foundation while it is cold and while the ground is still frozen, we have to walk on it commonly in solid unity, common unity on common ground as men and women and children, younger men and women, children is ultimately what we are all still within too because we are all we are all of us 
everything we have been, everything we will be, we are it now. Everything that we have been or will be is us now. It is within us. Equal capacity for good or bad is within us. Evil and live just a different ordering of the order or disorder. And then mental health, those being disordered mental processes that keep us locked in a trap. Because if we're up here, we're not in our heart, which is where we actually magnify and magnetize our desires out into this world. So if you are feeling the need to ground awareness in with will of Mater in order to radiate a shared desire on what I heard today is to be Worldwide Protest Day. I heard that earlier this week and I said, oh, okay, well then today we will gather and we will break down bullying and rebuild community or build it for the first time in common unity with others who are not coming out because they got paid to but are coming out because it is the right thing to do. It is the thing that our moral compass says, ah, yes, go. Just see where you can be added, where you can be of value. That is what we can do when we come together. And if we don't, then we miss the opportunity to be with others who would love to know us and will only get the chance if we actually go, if we make ourselves available. And so that is what we will do today. And I hope you can come along tomorrow as well, actually, in Port Dover, though. We will do peer support on the pier, which is the third of its kind. So I'm so excited to set the foundation for breaking down bullying and building community on, in Simcoe today at 2 p.m. Join us. If you must be somewhere else, know and trust that you are thought of in mind and heart and that the protest is a prayer instead. That is what I wanted to say there. So let us do this. <whistles> Shamanism. Reading the signs, symbols, omens, following the energy. <whistles> Move it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play together in a very respectful way in common unity, in common unity, in community. We will gather and we will say that where there is a will, there is a way. And so I say it is the women that must come together for we are the will of manifestation. And men, you too are the ones who stand beside us and keep us strong too. Because when there is a union of empowered ones who have decided to stand in their own selves fully by calling back more of their soul fragments that becomes the whole partner that can support a whole partner for us to stand shoulder to shoulder without trying to outshine or minimize the other. That is just what we are now here to bring into being in a new way like we've never been able to do before because it was always about competition and now we say it's collaboration. So let us join hands together and tomorrow too. And then we're going to have a few other opportunities too in the near future. So that's all I got for today. Namaste, nama go. See you by the lighthouse today. I hope that is true. And if I don't, well, have a good day. Lower day, namaste, nama go.